Once you've mastered my mix and match salad system, it's time to dress it up with a healthy salad dressing recipe. A classic vinaigrette is always a good way to go, but getting it just right can be a little mm, fiddly, and only you can decide what suits your taste buds. But there are some common tips to getting it right every time, and common mistakes when you're new to making a homemade dressing instead of buying that high-priced grocery store bottle that's probably 25% sugar, too. In this video, I'm going to walk you through nine ways to make the perfect vinaigrette no matter what your salad fixings are. And stick around until the end when I'll share my favorite everyday simple vinaigrette. But for now, let's get started with my nine best pieces of advice. At the heart of it, a great basic vinaigrette finds that perfect balance between fat, oil, and acid, vinegar, or lemon juice. You'll find recipes that call for vinegar to oil ratios of one part vinegar to three parts oil, which lots of professional chefs love, one part vinegar to two parts oil, even one to one, especially if you love a really tart finish and less calories. Sometimes this all depends on what is dressing, but for me, most times, a one part vinegar Two parts oil creates a clean finish without being too heavy that works for most mixed greens and veggie salads and grain-based bootables too. Number two, so many oils, so many choices. It's easy to get overwhelmed shopping for oils. 50 different choices, right? Lots of different olive oils, avocado oil, sesame oil, canola, sunflower, walnut oil, you name it, I've tried it. But when it comes to a classic vinaigrette, you don't want the dressing to mask the salad. You just want it to bring out the best flavors already in those healthy ingredients. So this is a case of keeping it simple and using your own taste buds to guide you. I love a spicy green extra virgin olive oil with strong peppery greens like arugula. But in my opinion, it'd be dead wrong on tender, sweet butter lettuce. I'd reach for something much more gentle and neutral in flavor, like avocado oil. My most important suggestion, though, is to make sure you're using the best finishing oil you can afford, not cooking oil for your vinaigrette. You put together this beautiful salad, so just treat it with the respect it deserves. I love, love, love real vinegars. The elegant simplicity of a white wine vinegar, the blank canvas of a good red, the rich, silky flavor of an aged balsamic, the sweet, tart kick of apple cider vinegar, or swapping out vinegars altogether with lemon or lime juice to fulfill the job of acid in a good vinaigrette. If you want to have fun in the kitchen, this is the place to do it. Beware of that wolf in sheep's clothing. There is a special place for flavored oils and vinegars. On the grocery store shelf, not in your kitchen. It's just a pet peeve of mine, but I know that oils and vinegars already flavored in a factory are never gonna taste as good as adding that flavor at home. You know what's in it. You know it's fresh, you know it's real, as opposed to fake and stale. And lots of manufacturers know nothing masks a poor quality oil than flavored up fakes. So do yourself a big favor. If you want lemon-flavored oil, add a squeeze. If you're looking for a spicy finish, marinate it in a couple of chilies and let it set for a few days or more. Number five, come together is not just a Beatles song. If you want a dressing that holds together in a nice balanced finish, you really should use an ingredient that helps bind it all together, an emulsifier, because without it, no amount of shaking or stirring is going to make that vinegar and oil come together and stay together. In a classic vinaigrette, Dijon mustard is the usual ingredient. But mashed up garlic, roasted garlic paste, or regular garlic will do the same. So will mayo and egg yolk, even avocado, and one of George's favorites, his own raw honey. Speaking of honey, there's another reason that a little touch of sweetness is a nice addition to any vinaigrette. When you have that much tart going on in your oil and your vinegar, a smidge of something sweet helps balance it all, and a little something salty heightens all those incredible flavors you've already put in the shaker. So think about reaching for just a touch of honey or even maple syrup, agave, or brown sugar, and then add a pinch of sea salt, or a drop of soy, and if you want to bring out all that briny, sea salty flavor, add some anchovies. Number seven, last minute fresh flavor and fresh color. 
One of the delights of a great vinaigrette is the flavor that fresh herbs bring to the salad. And I am so lucky to have a bunch of herbs right outside my window or ones I keep on the counter. It makes it a little bit easier to add a bit of fresh herby flavor right at the last minute before I dress a salad. Even if I make a vinaigrette in advance, I hold off on adding fresh herbs because I like the bright green color too. Number eight, taste as you go. A little pairing exercise that I mentioned in my olive oil series is to discover what oils go best with what ingredients, like how cornicabra olive oil and potatoes are a match made in heaven, or spicy Spanish oil is just perfect with sliced tomatoes. And it's no different when you're dressing your salad. Some dressings will make those ingredients really shine, and others might fall totally flat. So as any good chef would tell you, taste as you go. Like any great pairing, it's amazing what the right one does for a good salad. Number nine, simmer down, Spanky. Overdressing a salad is like a haircut that's way too short. You just can't put it back. So go easy as you add dressing to your salad masterpiece. You can always add more, but nothing ruins a great salad faster than when it's dripping in dressing. These tips are all designed to get you going on your own perfect vinaigrette. But if you want to know what my favorite everyday go-to vinaigrette is, let's whip up a lemon vinaigrette right now. And now that you have a master plan for the perfect vinaigrette, head on over to this video about my mix and match salad system to give you all the inspiration you'll ever need to get started.